Okay, so here we go. We're going to talk about King Gizzard and the Lizard Wizard demos and rarities. Volume 1 and 2. Fuzz Club LP. I scored one for my local shop. Shout out to Tiger Records for hooking it up. Jimmy, super proud. I guess $60 isn't so bad. I really want it. Here it is. We're going to talk about this and we're going to do it. KGLW. There it is. There it is. A nice, big, thick, hefty box. Let's do this. KGLW. There's the back of it. And what we're going to do is we're going to show you this bad boy in depth. We're listening to it right now, in fact. But what we're going to do is we're going to open this up. My girlfriend convinced me to film it like this, and it's extremely difficult. Maybe you should film it. Okay, take it and just like be super all pro Joe. So we open it up. That's good right there. Yeah, I can deal with that. And you get two of these bad boys. Okay, so it's a double. And it's a picture disc. We're listening to one right now. But both picture discs are very similar. But what I'm going to show you what's really cool about this packaging is you open it up. And the pink one is pink. And you open it up. And well, it came disassembled. The green one is green. It came disassembled, but I put it together. And then these have liner notes on the back. Three sleeves for each, each of record. Them. So it's three sleeves for each record, but look at how deluxe this is. It goes this to this with this to this to get to it. And then finally, there. these are what the picture just look like. They look like musical reel-to-reels. The other one looks just about the same like this. The alligator might be in a different spot. It might be a little piece of like tape somewhere differently, but it's basically what it is. So then you put it into this bag, this black bag like this, and then they want you to go into the pink sleeve next. I guess this is what they want me to do. This pink sleeve is pink on both sides, and the green one is green, so I do like that. And then, well, shit. You know how sleeves are. It wants me to turn it this way. It wants me to turn it so, like, the record is up and the sleeve is in so it doesn't just slide right out. And then they want me to put that into this right here. So that goes into here. So this is a lot of work. And I gotta do it twice, because here's the green one we're listening to, and there's the black sleeve, and there's the green sleeve. But I think it's really cool, nonetheless. And so, a lot of sleeves, I can do that. All right, King Gizzard, straight. So then, I open it up, I see this, and I say, shit, there's a fucking poster. And I open it up slowly, I don't know what it is, but I know at this point it's a poster, a four-fold 12-inch. And here we go, I open it up, and I'll be damned, it is a poster. Thank you, Fuzz Club, a nice poster, and there's King Gizzard posters on the wall over there, it's but that's It's the fine. lyrics to every song. It's the lyrics to every song, but where they kind of let me down and where I get lost is the poster Ooh. is all excerpts from the 12-page book that is included. I mean, thank you, Fuzz Club, for the 12-page book. But the poster is just excerpts from the 12 page book. This picture's on the poster. It's all the lyrics, and it looks like studio things, and there's a little puzzle here that you can solve, which is pretty cool. What's to a bird? What's a plane? Yeah, all kinds of stuff. And I love it. I love this picture of the band right here. That's pretty cool, a, sim a simulation of them. And then it's white on the other side. And then, just when you think we're 100% done, let me see if I can fold this poster up correctly. There we are. All right, so I want to keep this really nice. I've got the uh, original, because I'm such a record nerd and collector nerd. There's the hype sticker right there. And then on the back, Chris, $60. This was on hold for me at Tiger Records, shout out to you guys. Thank you, James, for ordering this record for me. I really appreciate it. Even though I waited three months for it, it's not your fault because we pre-ordered it. 
but I've got it. Anyways, this says Demos and Rarities, Picture Disc, 12 page booklet, exclusively recorded for Fuzz Plug, Fuzz Plug <laughs> official bootleg. So there it is. And that is the record. I'm going to take a second and I'm going to talk about the record. And who's the guy that I was really wanting to, he to, to, to hear talk about this record first? Anthony Fantano. Yes. The I'll, Needle Drop. Needle Drop, Anthony Fantano. I wanted to hear what you had to say about this record, but it was so much trouble to correlate with my girlfriend and me and the phone and everything. And uh, yeah, there's just one phone that we share, so it's code red. So I just said, fuck it. Let's just cut out the middle, man. I'm going to make my own video. And I hope you do, too, and I can't wait to hear your review. So anyways, I've showed you what it looks like. And it just stopped. I'm going to flip it real quick. You guys got this. Enjoy the massive Funko Pop collection in the background. Not very massive, but we got some cool ones. Anyways, just leave it right there. I flipped this shit, and there's no copyright on this because King Gizzard threw out a shit ton of music. And they told their fans just to do whatever they wanted with it. Now there's the very beginning of the record, but because I'm gonna review it really briefly, because I'm already like, what, six minutes into it now? Mm. You want me to leave it going, don't you? But I want you to hear the shit at the end of the side, so I'm gonna fast forward it. This is good though. Demos and rarities, okay, here we go. Awesome, as you can hear, this is a demo and a rarity, all instrumental. All instrumental. So yeah, this is where we're at. Listen, I'm gonna jump way into it. Okay. As a super, no, no, not as a super fan, but as a pretty serious fan of King Gizzard and the Lizard Wizard, I'm going to tell you what I think about this album. I'm gonna give you a really brief and concise review. I think it's absolutely fucking awesome. Um, if you guys are watching this, I had this super psychedelic brain fart idea that was like a cosmos blast, a star cluster into the galaxy. Let's do four albums. We're going to do an album just called King Gizzard. And you split the band in half. Half of the guys do their own album and the other half never hears it. And we call this one King Gizzard. And then the other half do their album at the same time called The Lizard Wizard. And they're released together at one time, and we do that twice. That would be so cool from a fan's perspective. So, yeah, I'd have to get them all, split the members up all weird. Stu can play bass, you know, he'll figure it out, you know. Everybody can play everything, so, like, I yeah. like when Stu plays flute. Yeah, yeah, we like it when Stu play, plays flute, but maybe one of the other members could surprise him with a little flute of their own. Or some midi flute or something, you know, I don't know. Anyways. On to this album and this review so you don't totally hate what I'm saying. It's a stupendous album. It's absolutely fantastic. You get these crazy demo versions of all the songs that hardly sound anything like them. Bizarro versions from a square planet Lots of in a distant galaxy. Most of them you just get instrumentals, which is fantastic because I love instrumentals. You can focus on the bands playing. You can see where they took the songs. You can. It's just absolutely amazing. Uh, I think it's a fantastic album. I'm not going to scrutinize it and break it down to molecules, but I'm going to tell you, I was surprised with every turn, every curve, and as an overall fan of all of the albums and not just one particular genre that they were into, this thing's got everything covered from Brunswick East to the fucking death metal Planet B shit, you know, to from, KG, you know, KGLW, there's microtonal shit flying all over the place, no Butterfly 3000 type stuff, no Butterfly 3000, but it's still fucking cool, and this is volume 1 and 2, so who's to say they're not going to do rarities 3 and 4 and 5 and 6 and 7 and 8, I got an 11 set live box set on the way, so it's like, how much do you really need, but yeah, I need it all, man, so this is really cool, thank you King Gizzard, thank you Fuzz Club, thank you King Gizzard fans for checking out this interview and if you're tempted to buy this it's been released on several different ways you saw the one I had there's a different release of it that's on this cool orange black swirl vinyl with a different cover and my other record store's got that one on the way for me too so I'm gonna get them all that's just me though I hope you enjoyed this we'll see you later